boys and girls, ladies and gents. Welcome to another one of Big Red Snack Attacks. What do we have for snack tonight? Let's see what we got over here. Looks like we got Jack Nicholas ice cream again. Salted caramel toffee flavor. All right, so let's see. I wasn't too very keen to the last one. Let's see how this one does. We'll see how it compares. Whoa, look at that. Jumping away from me. I actually like this so far. I should say I like the flavor. It's got a little bit of that gritty flavor. I mean gritty texture. Which I heard, and I'm not 100% sure. Somebody once told me that ice cream gets that gritty texture when it gets frozen, it thaws a little bit and then gets refrozen. And this could happen in a multitude of different places. It could happen in shipping from the manufacturer to the distributor. It could happen from the distributor to the store. It could be at the distributor where their temperature is not cold enough in their freezer. Same thing at the store. All I know is I live like three minutes, three to five minutes away from the store and I drive like a bat out of hell so I know it didn't happen from the store to my house but this flavor is actually pretty good I'm kinda digging it actually I mean it's kind of Salted caramel toffee. I was about to say, it's got a very you could taste the taffy or to toffee in it, however you pronounce it. Not so much the caramel, but the toffee. Man. We'll let you slide for the other ones that uh old Jack Nicholas. Because this flavor is actually dynamite. Which sucks because when I bought those, I bought three. I bought the, the uh, vanilla, this one, and the other one that I reviewed, which I forgot what flavor it was. That's how much of an impression it left on me. Um... They were closing these out. They were on closeout. Which means they're not going to carry them anymore. And I like this one. That's the things. I thought I'd go far. So if they have any more on closeout, I'll pick up as many as I can afford. Because this flavor is actually pretty damn good. I'm thoroughly enjoying this one. But 
This is a big old chunk of caramel. I should taste caramel in this one. Mm-hmm. Big Red loves him some ice cream. Tell you a story. Good friend of mine, back home in New Orleans, used to own a Baskin Robbins. And I used to love me some Baskin Robbins. And the guy who owns the Bas who used to own the Baskin Robbins is also One of my son's godfathers. And you're going to say, Big Rap, what do you mean? One of his godfathers. Most people only have one godfather. Well, let me tell you how this started. Of course, my best friend. who I've known since he was born. He's my son's real godfather. We never did christen my son. So this is all namesake. But, uh, he's my son's godfather. My son even calls him uncle. No blood relation. But calls him uncle. And it's his godfather. My ex-wife, while we were married and all of this was going down, wanted her best friend to be the godmother. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So, her best friend and my best friend were supposed to be Godmother, Godfather. The ex-wife's brother, who used to be a friend of mine, told his sister, I thought I was going to be the Godfather. And then her sister started chiming in. I thought I was going to be a godmother. So they all knew we weren't going to christen him. So in namesake, there is his second set of God parents, ex sister in law, ex brother in law, and I told her, I said, "Well, look, I mean, you pick three peeps, I pick one, so I got to pick two more. So I picked my friend who owned a Baskin and Robbins, and." He plays heavy metal music. Put out three albums. So, he's my son's third godfather. And then I picked a friend of mine who unfortunately wanted babies, wanted kids, can't have kids. So, she's his third godmother. And out of all of those peeps, The only ones that act like his godparents is 
my friend who couldn't have kids. And my best friend, who was his original godfather. So, that's how my son's godfather and Baskin Robbins and ice cream all connect together. But yeah, this flavor is amazing. I'm digging it. Too bad I've come to the end. So I'm going to check to see if they have these. I don't know if they carry frozen foods or not. I know they carry food. And they usually carry food that got discontinued elsewhere. Is Big Lots. It's where I get a lot of my chips and my snacks from. Because you can buy stuff there that's close to expiration. But it's still good. Like if, if there's a product that's, I guess, they overmade or is not selling well at a conventional grocery store, it ends up at Big Lots or Family Dollar or Dollar General. That's where I get a lot of good snacks and good chips and beef jerky real cheap. <laughs> Cheaper than you're getting in your regular grocery. So that's part of my secret. Go to Big Lots. Go to freaking Dollar General and uh, Family Dollar. You'll get some good deals. Anyway, so let's rate this ice cream. Enough story time. So for Jack Nicholas ice cream, salted caramel toffee, even though it was a little gritty, I know it wasn't your fault because that was, you know, that could have happened in transit or whatever. Anyway, bam, five flip flops. This was freaking excellent, y'all. Take it from a fat man who knows his ice cream. This was excellent. Good flavor. Down here somewhere, I don't know if it's this side, this side. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It doesn't matter. Pick a side. There's a subscription bar. Subscribe. You'll know when I have new content. Also, in the description bar down there, there is links to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can also... Uh, down that section, there's a comment section. Type me a, type me a comment. I'll type you one back. Show me yours and I'll show you mine. And, uh, as always, tell your mom, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma. Share this video with your family and friends. I've been Big Red for Big Red Snack Attacks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in the vending machine line. Take it easy.